Um, good afternoon, everyone. So it's going to be a short tutorial. Uh, the concepts on our groups are concepts that you already have been tutored so far. So we're just going to wrap up uh, the process of RAG pipeline. Uh, you can you are seeing my screen and hear my voice right before I start. Okay, great. So if you uh, are already have a background in web two development, web applications, uh, you, you, I would assume you guys are familiar with DevOps. Uh, the, same, the same principle that's happening for uh, machine learning models, including RAG, and the alternative for DevOps in machine learning projects is RAGOPS in RAG applications as well. So basically, what RAGOPS refers to is the DevOps practice and process, which tailored for the development, starting from the scratch of your development of your application to deployment and after deployment of your management of your application and your ongoing management. This entire process, we call it RAGOPS for aggregated projects. But in Web2 development, we call those process up to the production level of the application, up to it monitoring it with tools and other materials, we call it the Dev DevOps. So it is a principle of the process of the whole entire application is what RAGOPS is, it's nothing, it's not, nothing new, it's just the whole management process from the start to the end is what the RAG operations include. So, like I said, it brings the principle of DevOps in Web2 development to the world like of ethic. The same principle, it's just different naming for different purposes. So, what are the operations in RAGOPS? That is, the first one is integration systems, our application is likely to have a user interface, a database connection, or it could have a REST API. This integration is one part of the operation that uh, is found on the RAGOS process. The data management, which handle the data, uh, the data from the source, the sourcing AI application could be from a structured database or unstructured database or vector database. So the data management is part of the RAGOS operation the workflow and monitoring maintenance where uh, these configurations are set up after the application is put in production level. So these operations, these non-operations are part of the RAGOPS operation. If we break it down in smaller terms, what RAGOPS actually is controlling in for RAG applications specifically here, the retrieval part of the RAG is the first of the definition of the step for RAGOPS, uh, where there's, as you all know by now, it is a con is there is a connection with a database which returns information that is similar search depending on user query. Anyway, this process, we will call it the retrieval. This is the first step in RAGOPS operation, and that is the transformation. So when the retrieved information is passed to the LLM, it's not actually passed as a raw text as it is. Instead, the LLM uh, understand our words or our text, the data that we give it by changing it to numbers. So there is some kind of transformation that happens before the LLM could actually understand our data. So there is a transformation step. There is the third is the query step where the process of accepting query from users and connecting it with or passing that information to the entire store, to get similar research, to get a response that is relevant to the question. This is one of the components of our groups. Mm, there is a prompt where we define the right prompt context to acquire the right appropriate for the relevant response. And there are the LLM models which accept the retrieved information and give us a more coherent and contextual accurate answer. And the last step would be the synthesis, where the synthesis is a component where the real magic happens. By that, it means that it utilizes the power of LLMs, their capability to give a natural language response. 
the retrieve the transformed information is synthesized together to give us the final uh, relevant response for users query. The other would be the validation, which is most of the evaluation part happens. So we have to we need to have a validation process to ensure that uh, the response is actually accurate, relevant, adherence. Uh, based on the guideline that we have, it's, uh, it's actually this uh, this uh, pipeline is actually working as a should. There's it entirely its own process that we make sure the upgrade is perfect enough to answer your question. And after deployment of your RAG pipeline, there is the orchestration like Airflow does. Here, you can, the orchestration is where you define uh, task, tasks for that can help for monitoring your application and uh, for monitoring step by step uh, tasks of your application. Uh, it is where the management happens for your application. So, after uh, so for orchestration, you can use a lot of different tools in Kubernetes, AWS, depending on which cloud uh, tool you are deploying your app. Depends on that, but this is the orchestration where you do where you define your monitoring, your application, your scheduling for different events that uh, for different events that are likely to be triggered. This is where you define your orchestration flow for the entire application. So uh, when I summarized everything that I just said right now, like I told you, it's a concept that makes sure reliability and capability in FJF lifecycle management is happening on the model that you built in a production setting, enabling organization to deliver high quality, responsive, maintainable rug is application and services. So at a business level, your application if needs to have all the necessary steps, the management, the maintenance step when it goes to production. So it goes through this rug of principle to acquire a more structured, professional way of uh, deploying your application to customers in production ser service. So this is the concept behind the ROGOPS. I have to reference to read more up on this concept. But for those of you who are already familiar with DevOps, it is similar concept. So the naming is different, but the workflow is similar. Uh, if you have more questions, we can talk, you can ask, but uh, this is a short tutorial. Uh, I think it's very easy to understand. Uh, is it clear or confusing? Can I get reaction? I think I must can understand it. Uh, what else the rest of you? Is it clear? Okay, thank you, Sheila. What about the rest of you? Can I get it? Reaction is the easiest thing to react, right? <laughs> Instead of answering. So, okay, thank you. I think it's very much an easy concept. I'll share the slide if you need it. But uh, this is the process of the workflow of your application from scratch to production service, is production level, what it should include, the principle it should follow. So uh, this is the whole concept behind this tutorial. So if everything is clear, we I, I'm gonna let you go to go back to your project. But uh, if you have questions not regarding this tutorial only, uh, any confusions on the on the project you are doing, you are welcome to ask before I end it. So, uh, okay, I'm gonna end the tutorial. Thank you for.